Link 2012. Hello everybody, welcome to another Big Heroes Data Mine update. Today is November 24th. I am doing the update on November uh, what is it, 23rd. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So first things first, the game is now version 11.3. We have a new expedition, and I'm not going to cover the expedition entirely. Um, I'm just going to cover some of the main aspects, including the new familiars and the new items. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new sets. The sets are the same as the previous expedition, but we did get four new mythics, as well as a bunch of new familiars. Now, these familiars, for the most part, take new materials. If you look over here, I guess it's up here. <laughs> so we have three new materials. Of course, we've had the bacon last time. They're like for the inflated familiars. And then we have some special new spockets for the new steampunk familiars. Some of these, I forget what type of familiar these are for. And then some fireflies for the cloud familiars. All right, so in total, we have four new mythics for this expedition. So let's go ahead. Now you guys probably won't be able to see this, but I will read it to you guys. So we have a mythic head that is well above 50% health, absorb chance increased by 3%. Not going to be really useful considering the fact that Absorb builds like to use the head already. Um, and it's pretty conditional. Alright, then we have the Cloak of Dark Tides. Uh, deal 5% increased damage, but take 5% increased damage. It's a body. Not really that... Oh, sorry. Yeah, the previous one's a head. <laughs> Either way, my statement still stands. But the body, probably again, not going to be that useful not viable with many, if any, builds. Uh, the no next one is Radiance. Now this one's pretty stinking lame, in my opinion. It's 0.75% increased damage and damage reduction for every mythic item equipped. The reason I think this item is so bad is that you look at things like Nibbleye, and that increases your damage and damage reduction by 1% for, for legendary item equipped. So why is it even less for mythics? You know. And in my opinion, it should be around 1.5%. That would make it viable. In reality, this, this item, again, isn't really viable. So we've got a lot of new mythics here, but none of them are really useful. The only perhaps useful one is Abhorrence. This weapon's really cool. It's a bow. It does, it has a 1.5% ricochet chance, a 1% power chance, and a 1% dual strike chance. The skills on this bow are target and spread shield. It's also got the usual bow skills of uh, 1SP, but those are the 1SP skills. Now, target, cool. The interesting thing is the spread shield. In my opinion, that's less valuable than the attack all players skill, uh, simply due to the fact that if you have a on hit pet, then you're automatically getting pet procs during that time. And this is probably going to be a melee weapon, so I don't see. I, I just think it's. I, I'm not sure it's that great of a weapon, to be honest with you. Um, especially considering the new raid currently has all the, uh, I guess, amazing gigawatt, uh, amazing plutonium powered gigawatt laser battle blaster drones. So. Those weapons are already better than bows to begin with. But the full set does look pretty stinking awesome. I look forward to people putting on this set. I right, look at this. It's an alien set. Uh, if you look actually in the asset code, these are all pieces to an alien suit, which is very, very interesting. Alright, so let's move on to the familiars here. We've got an ancient familiar, a new ancient familiar. We're going to go ahead and go over him first. I don't know his skills, unfortunately. I, I didn't dig through the code enough to find them, and nobody's released them yet. But it does look like this, like this guy right here, Professor Hale. Uh, it's called, what is this? X5T34M. And he gets, he, he's got pretty balanced stats. Well, actually, he has, oh, oh ah, it's 211. So for every two attack damage, he has one stamina and agility. He gets 30% uh, damage. That is really stinking good, in my opinion, because damage is very, very consistent. And then 4% chance to spread shield for uh, a bunch when hit by an enemy. So this is about 30%. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's around, um, what's 40 times, what's, what's 0.3 times 0.4? Uh, I'm not going to calculate it in my head right now, but that's, that's pretty decent in my opinion. Um, we've got some other interesting familiars here that might be very useful. We have the Sproutlings. Now these guys are really, all, all the familiars are really, really cool because they have extra heads. Uh, that's like the, sort of the theme for this expedition. I really like the theme, but uh, that's besides the point. These guys are interesting. They have 11.25% absorb, 40% chance to attack weakest enemy when they get hit. They have attack closest, they have attack weakest. Uh, they have damage closest, but damage themselves, and they also have a spread heal. So that's 
pretty good, uh, if I do say so. Now, they're not really a tanking familiar, they're more of a healer, so it's interesting. They're almost like the, uh, what was that thing? The, the, the one skeleton with the bomb in Raid 3, from the music we're listening to right now, actually. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to the next one. So, uh, he, he's pretty good. The one I'm really interested in is this guy. I think he's, uh, Guguru. I, I can't see his full name here, but he's pretty good. He's got 22.5% in power. Power is decent. He has a 40% chance to spread shield when he hits an enemy. Now, that is really, really good. Um, he's got damage closest, damage all, spread heal, and damage weakest. So, this guy's actually really, really good. He's very balanced, so he's a good DPS, he's a good healer. He's just really got everything going for him. Uh, then we've got Gwelvins. Gwelvins have 22.5% power also. They spread shield per turn. It's not quite as good as this guy, but they've got damage the closest to, damage random, and damage weakest, so they're a bit better versus one uh, in, in comparison to this guy. Then we got Zvord, which is really just a bucket of lard, <laughs> which is pretty funny. 45% block, fitting. He has a 40% ch chance to heal the team when he gets hit, so that's actually really good. Because he heals the entire team and not just himself. Uh, in my opinion, this could be a really useful tank. Now we've got damage weakest, damage closest, and shield self. So all of those are really good. Shield self is really great for tanks. Damage weakest, of course, you can never go wrong with that. Then we have the new goblin, who has Damage target, damage weakest, and damage strongest. This guy's okay. Also has a power chance. 40% chance to spread shield when you hit an enemy. So, mm, would I take? I would take the cloud familiar over him, even though this guy, the, 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 the advantage of this guy is he has so little health. He has a lot of stat distribution in power and agility. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. All right. So we went over the all. So we've gone over all the new familiars. Uh, all the new uh, mythics. Yeah, unfortunately, no new sets. All right, let's move on to anything else. So, yeah, in total, we have 17 new familiars. So that means that we have 11 or so epic ones, which is really cool. Also have those three new materials that we went over. We have four new cosmetic mounts, one for each boss in each section of uh, each portal, because there's four portals for this current expedition, just like last expedition, although they're unlocked in a very interesting order. You don't have the three unlocked at first, you have to unlock them one at a time. Um, but all of you are probably figuring that out, so let's go over information you guys probably don't know. Uh, there's not a lot of new assets. I looked in the assets, all the new assets have to do with the current rate, uh, current expedition, so, I mean, as long as you guys have unlocked it, you can see everything. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, there's no, like, upcoming stuff, which I would know. Uh, Flitty slash Flunder. I noticed, this is really interesting, they actually buffed their damage random skill to go from 45% uh, damage, according to their power, to 65% damage. And they, I think their skill is damage three random enemies, so this is actually really, really interesting. I think it's a little bit overpowered, to be honest with you. I'm very scared to encounter this mob in raids. I was already very scared to encounter this mob in raids, but now it's even more powerful. Uh, so obviously, so I guess this isn't so obvious. The Thanksgiving Expedition stuff were made exclusive, so in the code, it has th their values have changed to where they will be set aside for future events. All right, up next, so I did find the Goblin Encounter code in the uh, XMLs files, and there's a 1% chance that any encounter will be a goblin. So now you guys know, it is possible to get your full dungeon of goblins, but it's the, the chance is just, you know, 1 in 10 to the power of however much. Uh, yeah, it's really cool, so it's 1% chance per goblin. I think that's true throughout all dungeons, but I know for sure that's the case for the expedition in all portals. Alright, so... They also fixed a typo. They were accidentally named the Demon Crab as Demon Grab. I'm not sure which familiar that's actually referring to, but it is a Demon Crab. <laughs> they meant to have a Demon Crab that was accidentally named Demon Grab in the code. Alright, the Beast Table was removed along with its hitbox, so pretty much everything relating to the, uh, the uh, Thanksgiving was removed. I guess we touched on that earlier, but yeah, that, that was all removed. There is very interesting code in the consumable section about an obsidian orb. So I don't know what, what the obsidian orb is, but apparently there's going to be something about it soon. It's not going to be a sale, 
uh, according to the sales that I found in the code. But it, it is really interesting. I think it might be a, a crafting material. I have to go back and check, but... Obsidian Orb. All right, for now for our sales. On the 27th, we will have an offense pet sale. On the 28th, we will have super scrolls, capture tomes, XP tomes, item tomes, escapes, and gold pans. On the 29th through 30th, we will have shard packs, energy packs, token packs, sacred packs, and badge packs. Excuse me there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, I would show you guys more assets and whatnot, but all of them are just for the current expedition. I don't see anything upcoming. Let me know if you guys know about the Obsidian Orb. I think it might be a material that already exists in the game, but in case it's not, I just wanted to include it here, because that's really interesting. Um, but yeah, until next time, don't forget to contribute and make the most of your day.